Welcome back to our conversation with the mayor of Taunton, Shauna O'Connell. And mayor, what's your biggest budgetary concern? What, what keeps you up at night? Well, you know, our, our biggest expenses in municipalities are generally, you know, infrastructure, education, and public safety. Yep. Uh, so, so those are things that we focus on. Uh, what, what we would like to see in the budget that's, you know, being debated right now is an increase in our general local aid numbers. Uh, so that's you know the local aids that municipalities get. Uh, it has not kept up with inflation. It has not kept up with other increases in the budget, and it's a real uh, challenge for municipalities when we see these very minuscule increases in that particular number. Especially when the, we are seeing increases of 10 percent, at least in Taunton, in our education, our, what's Chapter 70, our education money. So there's a 10 percent increase in that, which is great for our schools. But that requires us to contribute more to the schools, which we're happy to do, but we're not seeing the increase in our local aid number. Well, the state is awash in money from all the federal stim, the COVID stimulus and so forth. Uh, and the, econ the local economy has been doing well. With the governor, Senate and House have all come forward with their budget proposals. You're saying you're, you're not seeing anything in terms of an adequate level of local aid in those three proposals? There is in some some levels, you know, uh, in some different numbers. But when I'm talking about local aid, it's it's uh, what's called UGGA, you yeah. know, unrestricted general government um, funding. And that number, there's been, uh, you know, an increase in it, but not enough to keep up with inflation, not enough to keep up with the increases in Chapter 70 that are costing municipalities more money as well. So that number was really, the UGGA funding was really gutted back in like 2008, 2009. It has still not even close to catching up to where it should be. Uh, Mayor, there aren't a whole lot of successful Republican elected officials in the state these days. You're one of them, so uh, I've got to ask you a little bit about your party here. Did you see former President Trump the other night on CNN? Uh, unfortunately, I did not. I was busy doing something else and could not see that. Okay. Uh, what, what do you think the formula is for Republicans to start doing better in Massachusetts? So, yeah, I've been elected as a Republican for about, I don't know, 13 years now or something like that. I come from a smaller city, about 60,000 people, blue-collar city. And I think you really have to connect with people and focus on what's important to them. You know, you have to put the people over the politics, and I've always done that. And people know that I care about working families. They know that I come from low-income housing myself and, you know, have had my own challenges and that I'm grateful for everything that I have right now. Well, uh, you were at the Republican convention last summer, yes. state Republican convention. Give me an example of an issue they were focusing on there where you thought to yourself, come on, this is not what's going to connect with the people I govern. You know, I think the issues that they need to focus on are, you know, working families and what they care about. They care about their wallets. They care about affordability. They want good education for their children. Um, so, so those are the things that we need to talk about and we need to focus on. In Taunton, we uh, have done a lot to help people, you know, that are facing challenges right now because of inflation and the rising cost of goods. So we focus on helping our seniors. We've created new funding streams for them. We've um, doubled their their tax exemption. Uh, we've, you know, expanded our um, uh, property um, tax uh, exemption program for them. Mm -hmm. So we're focusing on issues that people might not necessarily think Republicans focus on, and that's helping people. And that's really what it's all about, being um, elected and serving. You want to help everybody, you want to be open to everyone, and you want to listen and hear everyone. More bread and butter, maybe a little less of this wokeness stuff. Yeah. Is that a fair? You know, yes. Yeah, so let's get down to what people really care about. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Uh, would love to have you on again down the road, see what kind of progress you're making. Thank you very much for being here.